So for today's special video, I am very happy to show you all a special console that I was fortunate enough to be able to recently acquire, and that is the Game Boy Advance SP. And this console here was reshelled, new screen on it. You can see the uh, little Triforce with the wings there, and of course on the front display. And this thing just looks sleek, slick, flawless. It's not the most souped up modded one, but it does look awesome. And I'll go ahead and uh, show you this screen here. But the reason why this system console is so special to me is because I did grow up with a Game Boy Color first, then the Game Boy Advance, but I never had the SP. And I just remember being so jealous as a kid when my cousin was able to get that SP with the backlit screen because that was a big deal back then. The regular Game Boys just didn't have that. The regular Game Boy Advance didn't have that. So I'm very excited to have this. I did have an SP a few years ago, just a standard one. And uh, I ended up getting rid of it because I just wasn't happy with the condition it was in. It was pretty scratched up and that's the thing when you buy an original usually they have a lot of cosmetic damage to them so i'm really happy to have one that just looks clean crisp and pristine here and uh i know a lot of people say that the standard game boy advance uh it has a better form factor better ergonomics and i do agree with that but what i prefer about the sp is the awesome clamshell you can just close up and it just fits in your pocket perfectly and you don't have to worry about scratching the screen up or anything. So let's get into a little bit more about the Game Boy Advance. So before I do go a little bit further into the Game Boy Advance and give you guys some buying tips, I do just want to show you the few games that I picked up with my console. So the owner of the retro store where I picked up this console was cool enough to give me this kids next door game boy video cartridge for free and that's pretty cool that was one thing i remember as a kid that you could put these cartridges in that had cartoon episodes and some even had movies and the resolution definitely looks pretty crappy today but it's just so nostalgic and back then as a kid that was definitely a big deal and that was freaking awesome at the time now the next game i have here is a nintendo Game Boy copy of the original Donkey Kong and the colors on this look amazing on the Advance SP because it did turn your standard Game Boy games uh, made them have color just like the Game Boy Color did too but uh that's one reason why I love the Game Boy Advance because you can not only play Advance games but you can play all your standard Game Boy and your Game Boy Color games now in terms of retro systems I would say the best value for your money you could probably get right now is a DS because you can play DS and Game Boy Advance games. But for those who really want to get into the original Game Boy, Game Boy Color games, as well as the Advance games, the SP or even a standard Game Boy Advance, maybe a modder, modded one with a backlit screen is definitely the way to go. Next game I have here is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And this is a pretty cool beat em up where you can play as each of the turtles and they all have their own campaign and each of them even have a unique stage in this one where it's different than just the regular beat-em-up stuff so glad to have that one and then of course heavy hitter here pokemon fire red gotta have that in a collection i grew up with this one and uh i'm really excited to play this uh alternative the remake to gen 1 anyway because they have a lot of extra content different mechanics in here and then i also have kirby nightmare in dreamland classic game right here glad to have this one in the collection and you saw this playing on the screen already but uh let's pull it out show the cartridge sonic advance 2 another classic 2d sonic game i'm super stoked to have all these games in the collection but now uh, let's get to the part where I give you guys some tips about what's the best 
Game Boy Advance SP you can buy and uh, what are your options out there? So if you're just looking for your budget option to get into playing Game Boy Advance games with the backlit screen, that Game Boy Advance AGS 001 is a good option. If you just want something to play games with, it does have the backlit screen. Now, it doesn't look good at all by today's standards. It's okay in the dark, but if you're playing in a well-lit room or out in the light, it just doesn't look that great, but it will get the job done. I'd say it's not a bad option at all if you're just looking to play the games and you don't mind picking one up with cosmetic damages to it um, because usually they're going to be pretty scratched up or at least have some kind of scratches and scuffs as these consoles came out in the early 2000s and if they're not reshelled of course it's going to be super hard to find them in great condition but you can probably get one of those from around maybe 80 to 100 bucks if you're patient with auctions on ebay stuff like that and if you really hunt you might be able to get a better deal on one now the second option i want to go over is the game boy advance sp ags 101 and that's definitely the sought after one as far as the original consoles go you can get one from around 130 to 160 if you want one that's in pretty decent condition with a nice screen and that doesn't have too much cosmetic damage and scratches to the console now if you're willing to just get a beater system to carry around you can get one for cheaper as well as as well as the original model but uh, that one definitely looks great with the screen already doesn't even need to be modded and if you're a purist um, and you don't want the modded console you want that true nostalgic experience then maybe that's the one you want to go with and maybe if you want to get one that's really pristine and in great shape, you might have to pay a little more for one. And I'm just talking about the standard consoles, because if you're going into special editions, then the prices definitely go up even more. Now for the modded one, like I have here with the IPS screen, these are going for around, I would say, 180 to 200. If you're just looking for a standard, not super souped up one that still has like the regular uh charger and all that you know there's definitely nicer ones that have like the usb-c charging probably with a stronger battery and everything but the cost on those is going to go up even more i would say probably like 250 to 260 and at that point you might just want to look into getting an analog pocket maybe um even though those are pretty pricey you can get one new for 220 but then you would probably want a case and everything for that because it doesn't have the uh, the clamshell design where you can protect your screen like the Game Boy Advance SP. I still plan on buying a case for this one just to really protect the cosmetics and everything because this thing is in lovely shape here. But yeah, those are the some of the options that you have as far as buying Game Boy Advances. Of course, you have the standard modded ones. And I was looking at those on Ebay's. They have them still with the changeable batteries i think around like 160 to 180 for the standard gba with a new uh modded screen backlit screen but i don't know if that's really an option people want to be changing batteries if you're looking for one that has a new you know like a built-in battery with the charging that's definitely going to be like 200 to 250 but yeah those are definitely some of the options you have for the game boy advance system um now if you'll excuse me I'm going to go play some Game Boy Advance, probably get into some Sonic Advance too. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy this content, please consider subscribing to the channel. And as always, peace.